in 2001, I actually uh, saw uh, one training that says uh, regulatory 101 and I was in quality. So then I decided just like, what is that? So I started uh, asking questions. I actually went, assisted to, went to the first, uh, the wraps after 9-11. Um, and uh, learn a lot about regulatory and I was really um, kind of inspired in a new area to search and to grow my my career and that's why how I got into it. Um, I actually uh, was doing a 510k for an IBD product and I didn't know anything about a 510k I just prepared and went to the interview knowing that I had no idea because I used to work in pharmaceuticals so then I made the transition to medical devices in regulatory and regulatory at the same time so when I did that transition I kind of trained myself went and read and then I went to the interview and I got the job <laughs> so now I'm a regulatory manager um, I have uh, done IBDs, combination products, drug device, and now I'm in software as a medical device, so I'm seeing an array of uh, types of uh, devices. And uh, I'm leading three devices through EUMDR and any submission that they might want, and any new product coming into the pipeline, into the uh, software as a medical device. Well, one will be to actually um, be with R&D and working through the problems and explaining to them why documentation and traceability is so necessary. First of all, it's ne uh, required by uh, GDPs, but the story, we're storytellers. We have to tell the story of how this product went from point A to point Z. How we do that? shouldn't be tribal knowledge. It should be documentation telling you when was it tested, who tested, how did it happen, and so on and so forth. And that story needs to be documented and, and uh, told. So for me, the best part is to making somebody aware that that is the need for me to ask for 20,000 documents. It's telling the story without us being there. First of all, we need regulations. We're a regulated industry. We have to have all these uh, guidance and rails to stay within. Uh, we need somebody to interpret those and that understands also the manufacturing side so we can translate what is done in the manufacturing and how can we stay within compliance. Um, the, the profession is amazing. It's never the same thing twice. Uh, very exciting sometimes and um, I enjoy it because it's, it's like uh, you're putting a puzzle all the time and it's never the same puzzle. <laughs> oh wraps, well definitely a lot of knowledge, a lot of camaraderie and a lot of network. The network is the, the most important thing on these wraps and I look forward because I'm always learning something and I get the, my network start a, a growing in which I can call somebody and say, do you know, I mean, I, I don't know how to read this. Can you, can you give me a, like a second look into the, the regulations? How did you handle it? It's a second set of eyes and it's priceless, truly. Oh, why? Um, well, I wanted to move forward in my degree, in my profession and the RAC will give me, um, gave me actually, the opportunity to review all the regulations from uh, devices, drugs, um, community, uh, uh, biologics, and other areas that I hadn't worked in, uh, and gave me that big perspective, like the high uh, vision, right? And um, it was hard, but I'm so grateful for it because I, I get recruiters calling me just because I have the rack and they know how much it means. Uh, it was hard. I had to study after work for six months, going to the library and uh, telling my family, see you later, I have to go study. It wasn't easy, but um, the, the questions were 
Uh, sometimes it was the best two things and you couldn't tell which one was the right one. It was just a gut feeling. Sometimes this career is a little bit of gut feeling. Uh, my spidey senses says we should go this way and that's where we go. It has been very positive. I have met more people this time. Um, I have got the, oh, this is the one thing I learned this time. I'm not technologically savvy, uh, but I learned how to, because we don't have uh, business cards. Um, I was able, somebody taught me how to connect with somebody through a QR code. And for me, that was priceless because I'm like clueless on that stuff.